Hello and welcome to, well, welcome to Morrison's. Uh, we're currently in Scotland. We've spent one night camping in a lay-by by the M6. Um, we're heading up north to Glencoe tonight, aren't we? I'm with Jack, Jack, freelance photographer, very good friend of mine. He's gonna be my tour guide slash chauffeur for the next couple of days, weeks, however long I'm gonna be here for. Uh, yeah, I'll show you around his van. So in here we've got solid desk set up with both these chairs that spin around so you can work here. We've then got our storage, we've got a sink and cooker. Our bed area in the back here. Bed for all them snugsies. Yeah, nice for the spoon in action. <laughs> and then underneath we've got storage for days on all our gear. We put all our bags, camera gear, tents, waterproofs, all the gear goes under there so it's nice and tidy everywhere else. Well, just getting ready to the shoots off. Yeah, let's get cracking. So we've got, how long is it going to take us to get up there? Two hours maybe. Not long, two hours to get up there. We're going to have a chill tonight, see what the weather's like tomorrow, and then hopefully, hopefully if the weather's all right, we'll get up a mountain. <laughs> need to, I need to connect the audio, don't I? Hello, so we finally made it to Glencoe. We've come to what I believe they call Banger House One, is that correct? I have got a mic on. My mic's oh, here. Yeah. I just didn't put the big mic on. <laughs> this is Scott, by the way. Um, yeah, we came up here and it kind of peed it down, but we've got some really, really nice photos. Come on out, I'll show you. Got some really, really nice photos of this place while it was moody and it was a bit raining, but it's starting to clear up now. So, I keep shooting for another five minutes or so and then probably head back down to the van unless... Are we going to go further up? Jack's getting hungry and we need to go back. Jack needs feeding. Right, shall we head back down then? Good morning. It's currently the next day and, well, look at what we've woke up to. Beautiful. We got back last night and we ended up editing well, Jack got fed, and then we ended up eating, like, editing for about three or four hours, and then going to, well, going to sleep at about one. We just parked in a little lay-by. I think, one minute now. Jack's just Hello. making a brute. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the drone up. Seems like perfect time to do so. We have been very lucky with light this morning. Look, it's just unbelievable. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna wait to see what the weather does because we just, it wasn't supposed to be like this. And uh, this, obviously Scottish weather can change so fast. Uh, we are expecting uh, the weather change and not be nice for the rest of the day. So I think we're gonna have some breakfast and then potentially head over to our, the Isle of Skye. But, I think we're just going to play it by ear for now and just see what the weather does. So we finally made it to the Isle of Skye. We have came to the Old Manor store and 
the weather has graced us with blue skies, which is perfect for filming VR. Um, I suppose the best is to take this opportunity to sort of explain to you exactly what it is that I'm doing. So I'm doing a six week medical research trial with a local hospice where I live in Stafford. And I'm gonna be showing them six different VR experiences, like adventure-based VR experiences, and then researching, hopefully, positive mental health benefits of using this technology. So yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm up in Scotland filming this video. Um, I'm gonna be here for a couple of weeks. Hopefully I might even be able to get two videos filmed. And then I'm going to be heading down to Cornwall because they've, or the other locations they've picked is Cornwall, Liverpool Docks and the Peak District. So I've got to film them yet, but the first one I wanted to get out of the way because it was a much bigger trip. So I've come up to Scotland, get this one done. Um, and now, yeah, so the per perfect weather for it. So we're going to head up to, um, up to store now. I think we'll use this as like behind the scenes, basically. Um, I'm going to focus on, I'm going to focus on filming the VR video. So I'm going to hand you over to Mr. Jack Anstey and he's going to sort of be your tour guide so I can focus on the VR. There you go. Thank you. Right, shall we get going? I'd say let's go. Sweet. Finish my coffee and let's get move on. Yeah. Sweet. This place is so popular now that they've had to put a full-blooded car park here and it is very busy. Very, very busy. Now, it shouldn't take us too long to go up there. We're not going all the way up because the drone can do most of the hard work for us. I'm hoping this blue skies stays this way because the light's beautiful for 360 now. It's perfect for the VR video. So we're just making our way up to store on the busy main tourist track, which I've not done in quite a few months. and. Uh, Definitely as steep as I remember it being. <laughs> Quite nice doing it with that bag on though for once. Ben's got his big bag still. It's not that steep, this ain't. This bit's all right, but overall it's a bit of a burn. Usually at sunrise, it really is a good wake up call. So we're heading up now, probably another 15, 20 minutes and we'll check in again. A little known fact about the store that most people don't know is that it used to be a really big forest where we stood now. If you look around, you can tell there's these big piles of trees and dead wood around that are all deforested, as a lot of the wood in Scotland is. Not 100% sure if they were removed because of logging or if it was just non-native trees and they wanted to return it back to native only. But I've seen some shots of this place back when there was trees around and it looks so incredible, like a different, different world. Really annoyed I never got to see it like that, to be honest. But if you go on Google, have a bit of a search, some really, really good stuff. And they were cut down in the late 90s. So just missed out on it by a couple of decades, but hopefully at one point, there'll be trees here again, which would be really nice to see. I haven't really introduced myself yet, but I'm Jack. I'm an outdoor adventure photographer usually based in my van, traveling around Scotland or other parts of the UK or Europe, taking photos of the outdoors, I'm usually working for tourism boards, outdoor brands, working on campaigns, and uh, at the moment, helping Ben out on his, on his project. So it's my van that we're traveling around in and getting from A to B, and it's quite nice for me because it means I can come out and not take a big bag for a change. But looking forward to in Scotland and taking Ben to some awesome places. How you doing, bro? Gassing. <laughs> Gassing. Six months off does not do you any favours. Bloody COVID. Almost there though. I finally starting to see some of the shape of the rock. Not long to where below them now. And having some banger views. Yeah. So we've made it up to the base of the store itself, which is just behind me here. And we can have a little look around and see exactly what the landscape is like. So this whole area is part of the Trottenish Peninsula and there's a huge landslip here where the cliff back up here at the top fell away and fell towards us. So these big pillars of rock all around here, crazy landscape structures are all just parts of the cliff up there that have slid down towards the sea. 
and this runs to the north and for, another, for about another 20 kilometers down that way and you can see all these mounds of rock and earth that have built up from the landslip but it's pretty impressive note to self don't follow jack when you're hiking because jack goes as the crow flies <laughs> that absolutely wrote me off it was i was absolutely dying trying to get up here but six months off covid di didn't do my fitness any favors but it shouldn't take me long to get fit again but we made it to the top this is store very very impressive uh, i think the conditions are absolutely fine for us to get the drone up so i'll show you this place from above <laughs> it was hot on the way up and we were both down in t-shirts getting sweaty now that we've stopped it's quite chilly so we're hiding behind a massive boulder while ben's on the drone and we're just trying to stay out the wind and keep warm right. but ben's on the drone trying to get some sexy shots and then it's going to be back down to the van soon for some warmth some coffee and some snackos snacks mm -mm. Mm. through the smoke through the ash through the flame and it burns like a fire in my veins In the end, you remember my name Remember my name Just packing up, successful flight? Yeah, I should think so, the light was decent you pleased with that? I think so, yeah I'll, I'll have to wait till I see I want to get home when I've had a look at it, but depends how bad the wind was like up there. If the, if the wind was really bad up there, then then yeah, the footage might be a bit shaky on the 360 camera. But fingers crossed that at least I've got some usable bits to put in it. Yeah, yeah. Good. And let's get down and uh, move on. See if we can find somewhere else to mm. get in the bag today. You're gonna catch me falling on my arse here. That's the goal. <laughs> like a boss. Smashed it. Come on, let's get cracking. Just got back down. Are you pleased with that? I am dripping. <laughs> Literally, my back. Needs some of my fitness out. It was all right, come back down, obviously, but God, it was. Well, it was your fault. Why did you take me up like that Rushing. way? <laughs> Getting a bit midgy now, the wind's dropped, you know. There's some midges about. Yeah, that's not ideal. Well, yeah, where do you want to go now? Should we go. Let's have, a, let's have a drink, have a little sit down for a bit, and then we'll maybe go find a waterfall. Waterfall sounds good. Nice. Final spot Kilt. Is it Kilt Rock Waterfall? That's the name of it, isn't it? Kilt Rock Waterfall. Um. Yeah, Jack's just double checking um, this because he's planning on rappelling down this, which to me doesn't sound like a good idea, but he's more than competent enough to do it. Let's show you the waterfall. Do you think we're going to be able to get down there without hurting ourselves? Yeah, easy. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting closer to it. Let's have a look, see if we can get down and get a better view of it. Then if, I can, if there's somewhere safe to drone from down there, then I'll, I'll drone it for you as well. So we've made it down just about to the, what do you call this, the shore, the beach. And yeah. um, we came down this extremely sketchy cliff. It was a little bit nerve wracking, but we made it, we're alive. Um, so we're gonna head down the coast now to the waterfall so we can see it from the base which i've never done before like i was over it i was here at new year and we only well there was a million people here and we literally went to the top and looked over it wasn't great for photos and stuff so it would be nice to finally see it from down here and then if the weather's all right we'll get the drone up again we've pretty much made it now getting across these rocks is a bit difficult but we managed it 
yeah, I think this is a pretty good position to be honest. I'd love to take you closer to the water, but unfortunately these rocks are absolutely lethal and if I try, I will end up falling on my backside and probably hurting myself, so probably not a safe idea. Uh, but yeah, this is lovely. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not the most impressive waterfall in the world, but I think it's still really, really nice. The weather seems okay, so I think drone time. We made it back up safe and sound. I'm dripping with sweat now. Uh, but yeah, I think provided all that footage is decent and the light is okay, it was a little dark down there, so I'm gonna have to double check whether that's usable. But if it is, then that's great and we could call it a wrap for the first one. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video. For anyone else who is um, watching this as a non-VR experience, uh, I'll probably end this as behind the scenes part one and finish this one off here. I'm here for another week and a half, two weeks, so I'll have plenty of other chances to be able to film again, provided all that's usable and I can make, uh, make a decent enough VR experience with what, with what I've got there, then, uh, and then that's great. I've managed to smash it out on pretty much the first day that I'm here. So if I get any more decent weather days, I'll be able to film again and make another one with the, with the same amount of budget that I was doing the first one. Uh, so thank you to Jack for, you know, saving me a lot of money on a camper van. Um, it wouldn't have been able to, well, I would have been, but I wouldn't have had the amount of time to play with that I have had. So big thanks to him. Make sure you follow him uh, on Instagram. I'll tag him in the description below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I was going to end this vlog on that last clip at Kilt Rock but then Jack brought me here where we're going to spend the night and it is just absolutely unbelievable so I'm going to get the drone up and fly it over there because the light and just the scenery is unbelievable so I'll end this behind the scenes part one on this drone footage so yeah I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>